No, this is not a hologram. It really is me. I'm back. It's been like three to four weeks since I made a video. Guys, I'm so sorry. I've just been busy with college and stuff. But I am home, as you can see from the background. I'm home. Got all my stuff here. Not all my stuff, but you know, all the stuff I need for the weekend. Stupid me forgot my battery charger, so I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. And I already have like less than half a battery. So let's cut right to the good stuff and let's see what I have to show this time. Oh yeah. What do we have here? It's an Apple bag. What could be inside? I got Windows Vista. Huh, yeah, right. I'd, I'd rather die than... No, I'm just kidding. I got Mac OS X Leopard. Oh yeah, check that out. My dad, is, my dad was nice enough to buy us the family pack. For our family, obviously. And we got it tonight, <clears throat> which is sweet, so I officially got it on launch day. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I was not there, but my dad got me a shirt. <clears throat> Excuse me as I die in the background. I have yet to open it, but I will definitely wear it to school this week and show off my Apple worshipness or whatever. And yes, there it is. Leopard. Oh my god, I can't believe I finally have it in my hands. I'm going to walk us through the, um, the entire install process. There is Smokey in a box I brought him. <laughs> And that was a weird image. And as you can see, my setup is totally different right now. I just have my power book with me. Well, and my keyboard and mouse over there, but I'm not using it right now. Because I don't have my hub with me. I had both my hard drives. I backed up all my stuff last night, like literally 4 o'clock in the morning. It, it took a while. Obviously, I did it while I was sleeping because iPhoto was like 20 gigabytes or something. But yeah, I just have uh, YouTube open. Random shout out to Stupid Thing 103 But yeah. Just is just a random message. Okay, so yeah, as you can see right now, I'm running Mac OS X Tiger 10.4.10. Let me show you that. There we go. And I think I backed up everything I need. As you can see, I have my three hard drives right here, internal, and then my two Western Digitals over there. I'm pretty sure I backed up my photos, my iTunes library, um, and everything else that matters. And of course, I backed up my um, version of um, Adobe CS3 Creative Suite, you know, Design Premium or whatever I have. It cost me at like $1,200. Oh wait, no it didn't. I, okay, maybe it did cost me. Torrents, guys, come on, I don't got $1,200 to spend on software. I'm a college student. But yeah, I don't pirate Apple software though, for the most part. Um, I'll explain that maybe in another video. But yeah, um, when you're backing up your data, Double check, triple check that you backed up stuff because once it's gone, it's gone. Unless you get like data recovery applications, but those cost like hundreds of dollars literally, and I don't have that kind of money. So I was very important to back up all my graphic design stuff from like years of work, my important documents, my photos, which matter a lot, my iTunes library, which matters a lot. Smokey, what are you looking at? You're freaking me out. Oh, a shadow? I don't know. It's good to have him back. Okay, whatever. Smoke, you rule. Anyway, so I think I have everything backed up. I am going to do a format and install. I don't, re I don't, re I'm not like a big fan of upgrade, I like archive and install. I don't usually upgrade. I like always do, I usually I format my hard drive, then I install it. I just like to have a clean start. And plus I've messed with, si with some system files. Like I've changed things within the system that I'm not supposed to. And I just want a clean start. So it'll run faster that way too. At least that's what I've heard, and that's what I've experienced. And whether I'll, I'll install Leopard, as I hit myself with it, whether I'll install Leopard on my Power Mac G4 in the closet, maybe. I mean, it doesn't meet the minimum system requirements, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. That's what I do. And my iMac G3 behind me. G3s are not supported in Leopard, but you never know. Somebody may hack it one day, and if they do, you know I will try it, but then again, Tiger required a FireWire port, and I don't have a FireWire port, and I don't know how to get around that, so. But I'm, not, I'm here to talk about Leopard, so let's open the box. Alright, so I'm suddenly on the floor somehow. So here we go. I only have one hand to do this with, so let's get this out. Come on. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that Leopard booty. Okay, now it's pretty bad. Come on. This is a single team video, if that makes sense. Okay, there we go. As you can see, he's got a nice hologram effect going on. So the X or 10, or whatever you want to say, the Roman numeral 10, looks 3D. And on the back, we have 
they're showing the new Finder, Spaces, the new Mail, um, the new iChat, which is going to be sweet, and Time Machine, which is probably like the most important feature of here, besides the new interface and new Finder. Here we go. Just like any other Apple product, designed and engineered by Apple, Apple in California. Actually, usually I only see designed by Apple in California, but that's usually for hardware, but obviously it's engineered as well. So if you open it right away, there's the install DVD. Your standard DVD, very nice, very clean layout. Um, yeah, let me stop recording for a second so I can actually get this out. Hold up. All right, so out of there came these two things, or three, or yes, they do include Apple Sticker Suite. Here's the uh, manual, I guess. Who really reads manuals? Well, no, obviously some people do. I don't obviously. I just like to get a hands-on experience and learn things. And then yes, we do get Apple stickers. I just wasn't sure if it comes with software or not, because I know it comes with like you know, other things like iPods or whatever. But sweet, more Apple stickers. Maybe I'll put them up in my apartment to annoy Windows users. Just kidding, Billy, if you're watching this or whoever else uses Windows. Um, but yeah. So let's go back over to my PowerBook and I guess I'll walk you through the process. All right, I gotta be honest here. Formatting my hard drive sometimes scares the crab out of me because once I'm there, there's no going back. So, like I said before, I'm pretty sure I um, backed up everything as my hard drive spin up. I'm opening my hard drive, not opening them, um, exploring, whatever. So, yeah, I have everything backed up. I think I do. I kind of double checked. Um, I took pictures of my serial numbers so I can just re-enter them. Oh, I have to deauthorize my iTunes library. That's a good idea. But I, I'm not going to walk you through that. That's, that's boring. Well, I'm a little close. Sorry. I'm late and I look like crap. So, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, there's nothing really to record right now. I guess I'll record me by putting the DVD in. If that interests you. Does it? I hope it does because I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, here we go. Standard DVD, like I was saying. Ooh, shiny. What are you looking at, Smoke? Ah, uh, the glare <laughs> on the ceiling. Alright, putting it in my super drive. Sorry for the bad lighting. My desk lamp is at school, so. And that's not the best lamp. I have that over there. I don't feel like turning it on now. So yeah. Closes windows. Let's wait for it to pop up. Once again, this video may not be <clears throat> entirely exciting, but hopefully you enjoy it. Now, nothing should go wrong, because <clears throat> this is a software update, and my PowerBook G4 meets the minimum system requirements, except for a little bit, except for some features in Leopard, but nothing major. All right, here we have install OS 10. Optional installs, what's that? Oh, look at that, they're, they're using the new folders already. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like dying in the background. Then we have instructions. I don't need those instructions. Sorry, activate expose. Once again, I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this, but okay, I think that's it. Okay, let's take in the moment of enjoying Tiger. Everyone say goodbye to Tiger on the count of three. One, two, three. Goodbye, Tiger. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, just trying to add some entertainment to this video. So install Mac OS 10. Click the button below to restart. Just like the um, Tiger installation is the same thing. Let's take a moment, think. Did I back up everything? Okay, I'm back. I thought about it and I think I'm good. I didn't deauthorize my iTunes library because I don't need to. I, I can just do that from. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm like dying over here. Oh, I have Wawa coffee. Hold on. Mmm. It's good to be home. So, yeah, let's restart here. Type in my password. Do, 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 do. Goodbye, Tiger. I will miss you. Sorry if this video is a little weird, guys. I'm just like really crazy and I'm hyped about installing it. While we wait for that to restart, let's walk to, to them th uh, through some things I'm gonna do. iLife 06, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reinstall. Then I'm gonna update to iLife 08 from my dad's MacBook DVD. And my dad was nice enough to buy me this, a combination notebook lock for my power book at school. So that way it, it like protects me against theft. Because unfortunately that stuff happens. But yeah. Here's my iPhone over here. 
it's dead right now because the battery died. I've been texting all day and on Facebook or whatever. And yeah, there's nothing really else changed while we wait for that to restart. I have this freaky pumpkin in my room now. I don't play Technus at school. It's kind of scary. I know this has nothing to do with Apple whatsoever, but whatever. You can deal, right? Oh, and I have apple pie over there. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my entertainment. I'm kind of hyper right now. Tonight's going to be a late night. And, yeah. I'll just start recording again when it pops up, because this could take a little while.